The drill easily breaks through the seal of the panel. The panel opens easily. The oil seeps into and loosens the debris. The gears are completely cleared of debris. This input-output slot for the record decks is still functional, Captain. These are the auxiliary helm and navigation controls for the Republic. Though they are intact, the ship is in no condition to move under her own power. Mr. Spock, what is the status of the ship's computer? There is extensive damage to the main processing unit of the ship's computer. It will take several days at a starbase to repair. We don't have several days, Mr. Spock. Unless we can find a suitable computational alternative, there will be no way to control the ship's systems. That's just great, Spock. We don't exactly carry an M5 computer in our inventory. Correct, Doctor. However, there may be another alternative. Linked tricorders, along with the circuits in the data reader, should have the processing power necessary to control a single starship system. Thank goodness for parallel processing. I don't know what computers could do without it. The impulse power allocation controls are functional, but there is no power available, Captain. You take the record decks. Stardate 6087.6. The Republic is currently approaching the Vardain system. Sensors have detected unusual energy fluctuations near one of the Vardanian moons. Starfleet has ordered us to investigate. Captain's log, Stardate 6087.8. We are under attack by two unidentified ships. I don't know how they could have approached undetected. They must have some kind of cloaking device, although there are no reports of Romulans in this sector. Stardate 6088.1. We have successfully driven off our assailants. Major damage has been sustained by our warp engines. Communications has reported that USS Enterprise is in sector. I requested Mr. Scott's assistance in repairing damage to the Republic. With luck, we will be fully operational in a couple of days. Captain's log, Stardate 6088.5. First Officer Andrade commanding. The Enterprise has unexplicably opened fire upon us. Captain Patterson has been mortally wounded. We have sustained major damage to all systems. Impulse power is out. We cannot understand why... There are no more log decks, Captain. Captain, I have examined the engineering journals. According to Chapter 18, we can run... Jim, do we really need a lesson in starship engineering? Spock, just tell me if they will help. Why, yes, Captain. Please select an impedance. Spock? Captain, the information obtained from the engineering journals indicates the correct impedance setting to be 19,000 ohms. Go ahead and adjust the setting, Spock. Power has now been restored, Captain. Impulse power is functioning, Captain.
This is the fire control for the photon torpedoes. A red flashing light is currently indicating a jam in the torpedo loading mechanism. Captain, the torpedo loading system is malfunctioning. To clear it, we will have to physically examine the mechanism. Currently, all turbo lift access to the torpedo bay is blocked by a hull breach. Fortunately, it is highly unlikely that we will need this ship's weapons systems. Spock crudely attaches the science tricorder to the computer console. Spock crudely attaches the medical tricorder to the computer console. Both tricorders are rigged into the main computer's central processing unit. We now have enough computational power to control a single ship's system. Captain, look! An Alasi ship! That ship was cloaked. Fascinating. Is that all you can say? Captain, I suggest we try to raise the shields. With impulse power online, and the tricorders performing computer control, I can divert power to... Weapons. Shields. Transporter circuits. Shields. Shields are up, sir. Captain, we are being hailed by the Alassi, Captain. Put it on screen, Spock. Well, if it isn't Captain Kirk. Fancy meeting you out here all alone in such a shabby starship. What do you want? You should be more civil, considering your Enterprise is far away on a mercy mission helping that poor traitor. It was a setup? I can see why they made you, Captain. I assume since you haven't blasted us to bits, you want something. Why, yes I do. It seems you failed to give one of my associates some rather important information. The Masada, I presume. You want the locations of all your imprisoned comrades? Yes, Kirk. The Republic's computers will have the data just as your Enterprise would. I give you one minute to comply. Just try it. It will take time. The controls are smashed and the main computer's badly damaged. It will take hours to get power to the computer banks. Maybe I should just pump a few torpedoes into your shields and check it out for myself. The Republic will fall apart if you fire on us. Then you'll never get the data. All right, Kirk. We'll do it your way. I would rather not kill you. Besides, there's an old friend that wants to meet you. I give you 30 minutes. And remember, no tricks. Captain, the main computer is far beyond. Shut up, Spock. 30 minutes then. Kirk out. Spock, would it be possible to connect the fusion power pack directly into the transporter power circuits? Fascinating. It can be done. However, the transporter will only be able to transport a single person. Do it, Spock. Captain, there are no coordinates set for the transporter. Transporter systems are operational, Captain. Coordinates have been set to the photon torpedo loading bay. Ensign Keege, I want you to beam into the torpedo bay and unjam the loading mechanism. If you don't succeed, we'll all be on permanent shore leave in an Alasi jail. I'll do my best, sir.
do it, Spock. I've reached the torpedo loading bay, Captain. It's not too badly damaged, fortunately. What's causing the malfunction in the loading mechanism? The inner loading door is stuck in the closed position. Now, I can force it open, but when the loading cycle has begun, the room will lose pressure. We won't be able to beam back here again. Do it, Ensign. We'll just have to gamble that the system doesn't jam again. The door is open, Captain. I'm ready to transport back. Leave him back, Spock. Well, Captain Kirk, I trust you and your valiant crew have retrieved the data I requested. Not yet. Yes, we have. You'll have to beam over and get it, though. The computer subspace transmitter is out. How convenient, Kirk. We'll beam over, but no tricks. My sensors read that only your shields have power. Lower them now. We'll comply. Kirk out.